The Marines have just been put on notice. The bounty system has been flipped over like a trap card and our esteemed Lord and Savior Clown Man has issued bounties for all of our most famous men and women of justice. And this goes all the way to the top. Kizaru, Ryukugyu, and even Sakazuki. Nobody is immune from our newfound clown justice. This is the first time in the series that we have been able to apply bounties to the Marines. So let's find out exactly how much a Marine Admiral is worth. Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. My name is Liam and when it comes to the Marines, I am highly amused by the ranks of seaman and rear admiral, so I apologize in advance. But One Piece as a whole has often explored the idea of justice. Whose definition of that word is correct? Who enforces it? Who has the right to, and most importantly, who delivers justice to those the world has already deemed as just? Well, never did I think the answer to that latter question would be a hawk, a crocodile, and a clown, but here we are. And to find out how many delicious cash monies an admiral is worth, we are going to work our way up the ranks. And the lowest ranking named Marine in the series is seaman recruit Ukari. And if you don't remember who he is, well, Ukari is the complete and utter bungle nut who scratched the statue of the illustrious Captain Morgan in Shellstown. So what kind of bounty gets assigned to a mild statue scratcher? Well, to compare, our lowest known traditional piratey bounty is Chopper with 100 berries, which in the One Piece vault is exactly the value of 0.66 of a cabbage. And in a close second place is Beppo at 500 berries, which could buy you 3.3 cabbages. However, those are just mascot bounties the world government and doesn't consider them in any way a threat. Meanwhile, Ukari, you know, he, he's still a mild threat, even if it is only to statues. However, the next lowest pirate bounty is Mr. Four at 3.2 million berries, which is, uh, that's, uh, that's a bit of a big jump. And I don't think anyone would be able to justify placing a simple seaman anywhere near the best baseball playing pirate that we have ever seen and probably will ever see. So seaman recruit Ukari is going to clock in at a mere 100,000 berries, which is the cost of a basic log pose. Pretty underwhelming, but you know, so are the Marines. especially recruits. They essentially serve the same purpose as like a hot dog stand. They're just mobile meat. So let's do a bit of a rank up and look at the bounty value of a Lieutenant Commander, the most remarkable of which is Django, which is almost too perfect of an example because due to his piratey origins, Django also has a traditional bounty assigned. That number was 9 million berries. Oh, and fun fact, Django is the only character in the entirety of One Piece who has officially had their bounty retracted because he is the only one to have made the conversion from filthy hypnosis pirate to lean, clean, marine, machine. What we need to do is decide if Django is more of a threat now than he was before. And really the only thing that's changed about Django between now and then is that he now uses two pendulums instead of one. That's still two, one. Sadly though, this still makes Django a bit of a budget thrifty bobbin who has insane hypnosis powers, which he achieves by layering what appears to be a piece of torn toilet paper over his face, which really makes you wonder under what circumstances he first discovered this power. With Django though, what really seals the deal for me is that everyone with a bounty even slightly over 9 million still completely outclasses him. That includes Mr. Five, Mark Vice, and the almost certainly dead Geen. So whether he's a pirate or a Marine, I think that 9 million remains a very generous number for Django. And that amount of money could also buy you nine heavily discounted Sandai Kitetsu blades at Logtown. Very convenient for anyone practicing nine sword style. And also pretty funny. The idea that he gets his bounty retracted just in time for a new bounty system to target him. We are taking a massive step up in value now to the Marine Captain range, and here we find find out Pink Dolphin Kobe. That's a reference to another video, I, I honestly forget which one. But if you just watch them all, then, then you'll find it eventually. The reason why our captain is going to be one shockingly expensive lad is because not only is he a user of both armament and observation haki, but he is also a confirmed Rokushiki master, theoretically putting him on par or even above the average member of CP9, who I am convinced the world government trained wrong as a joke. We'll start the secret organization of spies, right? We'll make them train their whole lives from childhood, lots of punching and stuff, but at no stage will we teach them the haki. So whenever Rob Lucian and the Cypher Posse are walking around, they're all strutting thinking that, yeah, I'm a super awesome secret agent. Whereas what the rest of the world government sees is a pack of combat clowns. Anyway, I got distracted. That's, that's happening a lot today. Kobe, right, right, that guy. It's hard to use CP9 as a metric for cash worth because the bounty rewards for beating them varied between 120 million berries awarded to Zoro and 16 million berries awarded to Nami for dispatching their respective agents. We also know that Kobe was quite intimidated by Kuros, potentially implying that Kobe is at least a similar level, maybe even slightly lower. But Kuros does have a metric we can go by because he of course defeated Diamante, the guy who turned things in, into flags and was somehow worth 99 million berries for doing so. But with that in mind, Kobe is going to be at least a solid 100 million berries, which could also buy you a second hand ship at Ward 7. Kobe is legitimately stronger, smarter, and cleaner than Luffy was when he beat Crocodile. So 100 million, it might even be underselling him. But from under to oversold now, we've 
ranked up and hit the Commodores. Probably the most inconsistent rank within the entire Marine system. For example, Smoker was a Commodore when he was first introduced and he's, you know, he's a pretty competent mound of gases. However, in stark contrast, we also have Pudding Pudding, who was defeated by the Arlong pirate Sans Arlong. Meanwhile, on the very upper scale, there is also Commodore Yarisugi, who easily defeated Karabo's brother Korobo, who I have to point out has a living, breathing lizard on his head. It is not hair. And Korobo was worth a whopping 190 million berries. That's right, in the eyes of the world government, Korobo's crimes against fashion are worth almost double the value that Luffy was after having beaten a warlord of the sea. The point though is that this makes Yarisugi quite a bit of a boss and probably the best example of what the Commodore rank should represent. However, I suppose it's also good to point out at this stage that some Marines rank up via admin, like Commodore Branu, for example. His entire job is to do nothing but assign bounties. So it's hard to put a value on this rank and it really could be anywhere from 10 million berries all the way to 250 million berries, which could buy you anywhere between 769 to over 19,000 full course meals of Baratie. So good news because no matter which Commodore you snag, you're still eating pretty damn good. All right though, let's talk admirals. Rear admirals in this case, and despite having a hilariously butt-based name, they, they are no joke. And the most famous of which is Diaz Drake. But due to his public image as a bit of a naughty dino pirate, he's not going to receive a buggy bounty and we are going to examine Hina instead. Hina is much more of a threat than I think people give her credit for. I mean, yeah, she's a bit of a one trick fruit, but that trick works really well. And in her debut performance, Hina easily dispatched Bonclay twice actually, because she went on to capture him again in the Baroque Works cover story. And Bonclay was worth 32 million berries, which is chump change to us, because his existence held very little value when compared to the overwhelming might of Hina. The thing about Hina is she is super smart, like one of the finest strategic Marines in the series. And being in a commanding position is quite relevant. Hina also had an entire core at her disposal pre-time skip and probably significantly more resources now. Furthermore, in One Piece Stampede, it's also implied that she is significantly more powerful than Kobe. And yeah, it's not canon material, but with Hina, we're, we're pretty desperate for any information. What we can do is use the value of X Rear Admiral Drake, who was deemed to be worth 220 million berries. This might sound outrageous, but Hina is not far off this mark. She is powerful, she is influential, and she is intelligentable. And she even has two adoring simps in Django and Full Body, all of which adds up to a nice round 200 million berry bounty for this here Rear Admiral, which could also buy you exactly enough Adam Wood to construct the Thousand Sunny. All right though, instead of Rear Admirals, let's now talk about the Real Admirals. Real, why can't I say real, holy crap. Real Admirals, let's talk about the Real Admirals. Or at least half Admirals, because our next rank up is Vice Admiral. And the most famous candidate of which is actually Hina's boy toy, Smoker, which is potentially canon by the way. There was a cover page that Oda drew featuring Smoker out on a date with Hina and a camel and look, it implied some stuff. Much like the substance that is his namesake, Smoker is difficult to nail down. Primarily because he's very unfortunately never won a single fight in the series, which means that we can't judge his value by who he's beaten. We can only judge how much he definitely is not worth by looking at who he's lost to. Smoker lost to Ace, so he can't be worth 550 million berries. He also lost to Trafalgar Law, who at the time was worth 400 million berries, so no, we can't have that. And in the very same arc, he also lost to Caesar Clown, who has a 300 million berry bounty. And most of that is more about his threat as a scientific terrorist rather than actual powers. We should be generous here and give Smoker a bounty floor before he falls so far that he could join Big Mom and Kaido in the magma of abysmal failure. Currently, the lowest Logia bounty holder in the series is Karabo, whose name seems to be shockingly relevant today, but he is worth 210 million berries. I mean, yes, technically it's Crocodile, but his bounty was frozen, so it's meaningless. So Smoker lands somewhere between 210 million to 300 million, and that landing spot is 250 million, which is coincidentally enough money to buy approximately 284,000 pairs of Frankie's battle underpants. I love that the One Piece world is so detailed that we know the price of Frankie's underwear. And in case you were curious, it is 880 berries, and that is about seven US dollars, which honestly seems pretty cheap for battle underpants. But this is the moment we've been waiting for. No more vice, no more rear this. This is the real deal. The bounty of a Marine Admiral. And we are going to see a big leap here. From all available evidence, Marine Admirals seem to occupy a space below the Emperors of the Sea, but above their strongest commanders. Marineford showed us that even though battles can start out quite even, the Admirals did ultimately prove superior. Now there is one bit of story that does contradict this belief, and it's when Doflamingo very boldly claimed that he was going to kill Fujitora. But this was a simple case of string-based arrogance because it's like, dude, this Admiral is so powerful that he 
literally controls how far your balls drop. With this in mind, the highest commander bounty at the time of this recording is King, who clocks in at 1.39 billion berries. Any admiral is going to be worth more than that. Even the human broccoli hybrid Admiral Greenbull. But contrast this to the lowest valued emperor, who at the time of this recording is Blackbeard, zhahaing his way into 2.2 billion berries. Which honestly is, is kind of a sad amount these days. I mean, just consider this. Right now, Eustace Kid has a higher bounty than Blackbeard. That's right, we now somehow live in a world where both Shanks and Junkyard Shanks have managed to eclipse the King of Darkness. And I can't fathom the idea of an Admiral being worth less or even about the same amount as Blackbeard or for that matter, Eustace Kid and Trafalgar Law. It's not just about the ridiculous level of individual power either. It's about the influence and control they have over the single largest military organization on the planet. Are they on par with the presence like say Shanks? Well, probably not. But the bounty range for an Admiral must be somewhere between three to 3.5 billion berries at least. But good news though, because that is a reward large enough to buy at least 3.75 million of Foxy's exclusive pin badges sold at the Davy Back fight. Although it was noted that they were horrendously overpriced. So if you bought them direct from the factory, you could probably get around 7 million. But we're not done yet though, because there is one Admiral who admirals so much harder than the other Admirals. And we are of course talking of Fleet Admiral Sakazuki. This man went fist to fist with Whitebeard, fist to sword with Shanks, and finally fist to torso with Ace. The thing is though, let's, let's forget about strength entirely for a second. Sakazuki is the leader of the thing it is I said before, the largest military organization on the planet. He commands a force greater than the fleet of any emperor. Sakazuki's value is immeasurably immeasurable. But if we were to measure it, we are looking at at least around the 4.5 billion range, which I actually think is conservative because that would slot him between the nightmare sandwich that is Big Mom and Kaido in terms of monetary value anyway. And to put that into some much needed perspective, 4.5 billion berries could buy you four and a half million Yagurable rides at water seven. And remember, you can bring a second person on them as well. So in reality, that, that's like nine million rides. And we are still not done because there is a Marine with even more value than Sakazuki. He is like the prized chonky tuner of our fish catching contest thing. Full disclosure, I don't know anything about fish, but his name is Garp. And while he might not be on the most active of duties anymore, he is still the hero of the Marines. To put it another way, if Sakazuki is the logistical and tactical leader, then Garp is the spiritual leader. Having Garp caught or killed would do far more damage to the Marines than any Admiral or even the fleet Admiral. And while he may not be in his prime, Garp was a man said to rival the power of the Pirate King himself. Himself. And in fact, all of their stories seem to end with Roger miraculously escaping, never in Garp being defeated. And with all of that in mind, the assigned bounty for Garp the hero can be no lower than five billion berries, which is an amount of money that could either buy you one or pay up in a me or approximately five billion cabbages. Choose wisely. And by wisely, I mean choose this next video because it's also about One Piece and I look forward to seeing you there.